You know, I told you guys yesterday that um, when you come out here and you get recognition to hip-hop artists, it doesn't get a lot of attention. And I told you guys yesterday in my Meek Mill video that it probably won't be a video that will get a lot of views. <laughs> and I was dead on about it because the video hasn't even reached 200 views yet. And the people who did watch the video are probably my core audience, those who watch every single video I upload. But, um, you know, again, we have another hip-hop artist uh, by the name of Bum B. If you guys are not familiar with him, he's with uh, UGK, and, you know, Pimp C. You know, legendary all through the South, all through Houston, Texas. You know, you guys are familiar with hip-hop. And he basically called out the hypocrisy and the ignorance of Stacey Dash's comments yesterday. And, um, you know, so far... His Instagram has been flagged for the comments that he made, which is not shocking. But what I also find to be um, a hypocrisy is that we can have people like Stephen A. Smith or Charles Barkley or any other of these Sambo heads out here that can come out and disrespect the black community, downgrade the black community. You had uh, Stacey Dash say yesterday that we don't even deserve a Black History Month. So that's cool. It's okay to come out here and insult the black community. But the minute we call out the unfairness of hypocrisy within the media, within entertainment, within just the world we live in as a whole, we call out those individuals in our community. All of a sudden, you know, our, our channels on YouTube are being false flagged or your posts are deleted off of Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can no longer speak to your people. And I'm going to read you guys a quote of what uh, Bun B had to say about Stacey Dash's ignorance yesterday. It says, for everyone that didn't know that looks don't mean a goddamn thing, if the inside of you is ugly as fuck, here's proof. The remaining half of UGK wrote in a caption for a photo of Stacey Dash. In quotes, her black skin drives her crazy. As hard as she tries to separate herself from the black community, she doesn't even realize her token role as a, is a pawn in their game. You're black. Hating yourself and us won't make them love you. The best you'll ever hear is you're not like the rest of them. How many of us who come out here every day and make these videos have said that? And if that works for you, then cool. Pound the biggest cooning in the room. And, you know... Excuse me, the biggest coon in the room. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Bum B was uh, dead on with what he said. That's exactly what I said yesterday in my video. Stacey Dash is a damn coon. And basically, she is a pawn and a token Negro for the so-called dominant society. That's why Fox had her on yesterday to uh, utter her ignorant words. That's why they use people like... Stacey Dash and Charles Barkley and, you know, Stephen A. Smith and Raven Simone, they put them out to, there to push a certain agenda for the so-called dominant society. But I just find it to be, you know, wild how when we come out and we say certain things, all of a sudden, you know, we're anti-Semitic or, you know, we're militant or uh, super over-the-top pro-black or, uh, you know, we're, we're sp spreading hatred. And you even got people who don't even understand the definition of what a racist is. They'll try to say that blacks are racist, which blacks cannot be racist if you truly understand the definition of what racist and ra what racism truly is. But, you know, I mean, I stand behind Bum B. And, again, I got to give him his recognition for coming out here and speaking because, you know, like I said before, a lot of people say that, you know, hip-hop artists don't speak out on certain things or things that are going on in the world or et cetera, et cetera. All they talk about is money, fucking hoes, and blah, blah, blah. And that's untrue. We have, yeah, we have a segment of that in the hip-hop community, but there's also a lot of cats out here who do things in their community that do speak out. And trust me, Bun B didn't have to come out here and say that. He could have played the, you know, let's all get along. I want to blend in with the industry so I can get that, you know, that next look on my album or I can be featured on, you know, somebody's uh, next hot track or whatever. He didn't have to come out and say that. But he did. He stood up for the integrity of the black community. And I have nothing but respect for Bun B and a lot of these other cats out here who choose to speak up for their people. But um, I'll leave the link in the description box. You guys give me your feedback on it.